Do opposites really attract? You know, how, how many times have you heard that all oh, opposites attract? But do they really attract? You know, I was thinking because I am a transformational life strategy coach and counselor, and I have counseled hundreds of couples. And I've heard that, you know, I've heard the saying many times opposite, opposite, um, opposites attract. But do they really attract? Now, when we look at um, electricity, or battery, you have a negative and you have a positive. Negative and a positive, and once they are connected, it's power. You have an opposite to create power. So what happens in relationships so often, I've heard people that come in for coaching or come in for counseling, and I ask the questions, I said, you know, what attracted you to each other? And they always seem to say something like, well, they treated me different. It was something about them. Um, that chemistry, they were different than some other people I've dated. They had something that was different, that a quality or personality within them that attracted me to them. So listen to me now. Do opposites really attract? Do they really attract? So I asked, well, you know, if these things attracted you to each other, what pulled you apart? What was it that actually pulled you apart? So as I listened to couples so many times, you know what happens? Those things that brought them together, that attracted them together, they focused on them when they were dating. But what happens when they got together, they stopped focusing on the strengths, the things that attracted them to that person, and they start focusing on their weaknesses. Now, mind you, their weaknesses were already there. But when we're together, we all, oh, I'm so in love. I'm just focused on this person. I'm looking at their strong points. And that's great. That's great. But we all have strong points and we all have weak areas. That's just how we build. Because opposites create power. Positive and negative create power. So I asked them. And even in my own marriage, um, when I was married, you know, I, um, I was attracted to the things in him that were strong. But after marriage, it seemed that he and I only could focus on the weakness of each other. So I share with my clients and I share with my, with my couples that I coach, what if we could focus on each other's weakness and strength? If you take his weakness and he takes your strength and he takes your weakness and you take um, his strength and you combine them together, you work at it. You work together. And when I say strength, you may have someone that's good at finances. They're good with budgeting money. Because money and sex are the two things that cause people end up in divorce court. If he's good at finances and you like to spend money, your weakness is you're not good at budgeting. His weakness is I'm good at budgeting. So you take his strength and your weakness and you combine them together and you come to a happy medium. That creates power. But what happens is we focus on the, the uh, weaknesses and we never gain power within our relationships. Do you really attract? I submit that you do. But we, we look at the wrong aspect of life of their lives because we look at their weaknesses for a weakness instead of looking at their weakness as, okay, where does their weakness fit in with my strength? Or where does my strength fit in with their weakness so that we can have power within our relationships? Power, remember, it takes a negative and a positive to create power. So if you are looking for a relationship that's powerful, powerful. Categorize
categorized your strengths, categorized your weakness, and he categorized his strengths and his weaknesses, see where they complement so that you two can have a powerful relationship. Remember to subscribe 